Hi, this is Simon from Tokyo Productions and welcome to this quick tip tutorial for Motion 5 in which we're going to be looking at creating this popular long shadow effect. Now this is very easy to do and uh, shouldn't take us very long so let's dive in and get started. First of all let's hit Command 2 to come to the library, Generators, Color Solid and apply that. F4 for its controls and we'll set the color to white and we'll call that group background. Then we'll make a new group, Command Shift N, we'll call it box. We'll hit F7 to bring up the HUD and R for the rectangle tool. The fill color we'll set to this purple that I've preset there and let's drag out a rectangle roughly like that. Let's come to its geometry here and just add a bit of corner roundness just for the hell of it. F1 for its properties and let's center that up. Okay, so I'm going to make a new group, Command Shift N, and this group I'm going to call Text. And come to my favorites menu where I've got some text ready made and bring that in. Just going to take that box group. F1 for its properties and move it up a bit on Y so it centers around my text. Okay, so how's this going to work? Well, all we need to do is take our default text and hit L to make a replicator. In doing so, the default text gets turned off. So we need to turn it back on again and we also need to move it to the top of that group. So command backwards square bracket We'll move it to the top of that text group and above the replicator. So now let's come to the replicator, F4. Let's come down to its color mode first of all so we can see what's happening. Color mode down here and select color over pattern. Let's twirl open the gradient. Let's delete the right hand color tab. Let's click on the left hand color tab. Click on the swatch and let's set it to that same purpley color and just darken that down a bit because obviously this is going to be a shadow over the top of that box. Right, now let's come to the shape for the replicator and we'll select line. The start X point needs to be zero and the start Y point needs to be zero. Now let's turn on the overlays, command forward slash and we'll come down here to the adjust item tool and then we'll grab this little end here of the I don't know if you can see let's zoom in so you can see uh, it's got a little handle at the end zoom out again and where I drag this is the direction of the drop shadow so I'm going to drag it down off screen here and then all I need to do is to increase the number of points I know the correct value for this is about 300 so I'm going to type that in but you can just scroll until you get the right number of points obviously if you have too few you'll get steps but as soon as you've got enough that will become a nice smooth line so let's zoom in there possibly a bit more as I say 300 and we'll be at the limit of, of what we need to we need to be so there is the effect pretty much done what I want to do is add a image mask to that text group so command shift M and I'll select the rectangle and add it to the image mask box and I need to turn the rectangle back on again and if we wanted to we could come to that replicator F1 and just change the opacity if we wanted uh, just the blending mode here but what about if we wanted to do the same with the box well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shortcut. I'm going to select the replicator that we've already made. Command C to copy it. I'll come to the box group and hit Command V to paste it. Then I'll take the rectangle and I'll drop it into the particle source well here. Or, or I could do that by coming down to the bottom and selecting object source there. But I find it easier just to do it in the layers stack here. So I'll drag the rectangle into the replicator cell. And now that's taken on the properties of that box. 
just like that. And obviously I can cut again come to its blending mode and reduce that right down just so it's a much subtler effect. But what if we wanted the uh, shadow to fade off rather than go all the way off screen? Well that's very easy to do because of the way we've set it up. So let's hit F4 to come to this box replicator. I'll call that replicator box so you can see what I'm talking about. And all we have to do is to set an opacity tab. So I'm going to click on this top bar here um, and that's made a new opacity tab and I'm going to set that opacity tab down to zero. And then I'm going to drag it left until I start to see that box fade. And then I can drag the middle value you see it's that little downwards pointing triangle to soften off the blend there. I could even put a, an extra tab if I wanted which was sort of halfway through. You can do whatever you want with that. Obviously if you want to change the text all you have to do is come to the text uh, object itself and type cool effect or whatever it is you want to do and uh, everything updates um, change the font even, a any shape now that you put into that uh, will, will work. So as you see, a very, very simple effect. It's very cheap to process um, and um, I hope you have fun with it. So thanks very much indeed for watching and I hope to see you again soon.